the Rocky Mountain block and it finishes 12 inches. Here is the picture and here is the diagram. This is a 4x4 four four grid. There are four across and four down. Even if this square and a square is in here and it's bigger than all the others, it still takes up the grid. It actually takes up four spaces in the grid where all the other units take up one space in the grid. And the units we have are the square, the half square triangle, and then the large square and the square. So a four by four grid has 16 units in it. In this case, this one square and the square is taking up four units. In this block, you'll be making 10 half square triangles, and we're going to be just piecing them individually, but if you would like to use the eight at a time method, you cut your squares at seven and three quarter inches. Now this is the exact size. This is not trimming down. If you want to trim down, then cut your squares eight inches. Here is what the block looks like if you put them with sashing and corner stones. And this is a really easy block to cut and to piece. Patch A is a three inch finished half square triangle. If you're using your rotary cutter, there's been some confusion about where are the instructions for cutting by hand or rotary cutting. These instructions here are your rotary cutting instructions. You'll cut a three and seven eighth inch square, then you'll cut that square in half once diagonally and you will have two patches. You'll need 14 patches for the background and 10 patches for the, the light fabric for the half square triangles. That means for the 14 patches you will need to cut seven of these squares. So seven squares at three and seven eighth inches and then cut each one in half diagonally to get your 14 patches. For the 10 patches you'll have to cut five squares and cut each one of those in half diagonally. If you have your AccuQuilt, you, the AccuQuilt dies are listed here. Patch B, three inch finished square that we cut these at three and a half inches and we need two patches for the background. These go in the corners. And the patch C is a six inch finished square in a square. The only die I found for that was in the 12 inch cube and it's shaped six. But you can cut a four and three quarter inch square and that will be the size you need. I went ahead and cut mine by hand as well. And you just need one patch that goes here in the center. What we're going to do to piece this is to first we're going to piece the square in a square. So we'll take our patch C in the center and four of the background patch A's. And I'll show you how to do that. Then we're going to take the all the patch A's that are left and you're going to make half square triangles out of those. Here are the fabrics I've chosen. All of these floral fabrics that you've seen lately are from a collection called Garden Society from Moda. Here are my patch A units. These are for the half square triangles. And four of these patch A's are going to be used here in the square on square. For these, you'll just piece these together and press the seams open. And you'll make 10 of these. Four of these patch A's are going to be used to make the square and a square unit and they'll go together like this. I'm going to show you how to piece this. Now I hand cut these. The other ones were done with the, the AccuQuilt. You're going to stitch opposite sides first and then you're going to press and then stitch the other sides and press. And what you need to do is center this triangle along one of the sides and I find it easier to look at the back. I can compare these little triangles that stick out here. What you're going to do, first make this even at the top. You could fold this in half and put a little crease there on the side and do the same thing for this and then just match the creases. But I find it's just easier to eyeball it, to look at it and just see that these two little triangles that stick out here are about the same size. You see where this angle, this the background fabric meets the square here, right at this angle. This should be from here to here, should be about a quarter of an inch. You'll start your stitching right there at that angle 
stitch a quarter of an inch and end right here at this angle on the other side. So do that to this side and then to the other side here. Now I've stitched on opposite sides and pressed the seams open. You'll notice these little nubs that stick out. And what I do, I just cut them off straight with the top edge of the, of the square that's in the middle. So cut those off straight like that and do this other side too. Sometimes if you'll notice this, this is a little bit longer. It doesn't match exactly there and that's okay. If it's a whole bunch then probably something's wrong but that little bit is not going to matter. We'll just trim this off. Now we'll take the other two, center it the same way, and if you turn it over you can see it better. Same thing as before, we have our little triangles and we want them to look the same size. This little angle here, when you stitch, is where you want to start and you stitch a quarter of an inch and end at this angle. And do that for both sides. Okay, I just recorded that whole segment and forgot to put the record button on, so I'll do it over again. I, here I have finished stitching on the second side. And this one I have pressed, cut off these little nubs. And on this side, before I pressed it, I wanted to show you, now I've cut off these nubs here because I showed you in the other one that did not get recorded. But if you are using AccuQuilt, this is a piece cut with AccuQuilt and you'll notice that the tips, the points, are cut off on this side. And this really helps you when you're trying to place this because you'll see that this is going to be the exact same shape on, on this piece that you're sewing it to. The only reason it's the same shape now is because I've already cut off these nubs um, in the previous one. But I just wanted to show you that that's different. If you were using AccuQuilt, you would know exactly how to line those up. And this little point here is where you start your stitching and you go all the way across. That's a quarter of an inch. Now we'll press this seam open and I'll finish stitching all the half square triangles and we'll put the block together. And we have all of our units made and we're going to start with a square and a square in the center and then just start look at the diagram and for the placement of the half square triangles. Now we'll go piece the block. Thanks for watching.